Hey everyone, welcome back to Dread Out, where this will be our final run through the game. And if I look at my settings here, I want to show you what I'm going to be accomplishing. Oh, actually, oh, hey, I, it, what's actually under gameplay? Experience settings. So, there's an achievement if you turn all these off. To an uh, achievement called My Way or the Highway. You have to get through Act 1 and Act 2. Turn these all off, which means you won't have any... Uh, indication that something is nearby. I'll be trying to do that. Uh, I'll be trying to not die during Act 1, which will give me another achievement. Um, and then I want to, at the very end, not go into the school. Because if you remember, we've gone into the school the past two playthroughs. We're not going to go into the school this time. We're going to get the other outcome if you don't go in the school. Now, I have no idea what the heck this uh, game did, but uh, I tell you, I booted up this game. I booted up this game and it literally loaded like 10 of these games up. 10 of them. Actually probably like 15, okay? There were 15 of them. My processor was maxed. I couldn't like end the task quick enough. Something Steam did because then Steam crashed. And I'm like, what in the world is going on here? So that I had to spend some time going through the task manager to try to quickly end them as soon as I could. At the intersection and then went straight before turning around. Wow. Okay, so that's actually while while they're talking, let's actually get a new costume. Oh, I think we're gonna do a a red dress costume. That was not bad. True. So that that was uh, pretty stressful there. So I really like this this one here. That one's pretty good. Let's see what other ones she has. Alright, I think this is going to be be the keeper. This is going to be the one that we do. So, let's get this show on the road. We'll try to get through this as quickly as we can. I know what to do. We know what to do. Dude, just, just get over there. There you go. You and your strange walk. There you go. We're through. <laughs> Over here. Yo, Linda's gonna make it there before anyone else. Well, she may get there multiple times. How many times they, the uh, game loaded up? She may get there like ten times. But yet yeah, we're not gonna do anything special or bonus here. We're just gonna get through the game. It should be, it should be pretty quick because this game, if you know what you're doing, it's really not all that long. It's just about fighting. The enemies sometimes then take a long time. And again, um, you know, I did pretty well not dying during Act 1 last time. I did a decent... Uh, I did pretty well. I, I died when I needed to in order to get the ghost. Okay, he's not catching up yet. We got a long walk here. That's what's always quite bad here. All the, the long walk. Quite tedious. It takes probably most of the time for Act 1, to be honest. This long walk. And we're not going to get detoured or, or go on any little scavenger hunt. We're just going to get straight to the school to do and get out. Whoa. Too bad, too bad she just can't run endlessly. That'd be nice. Yeah, she's still gone. Going ahead of everyone else. There should be something special for getting ahead of everyone else. So again, we're not going to have any clues to help us determine where the stuff is. Not that we need it. Because I'm pretty sure I know my way at this point. The one... The one... Well, there's two areas that, that I'm a bit concerned about, and that is when we had to fight the a Scissor Ghost. Last time I did it perfectly without getting hit, um, so that shouldn't be too bad. Um, and then there's a Phantom towards the end of Act 1 that you have to quickly get through the door or you get killed, so I don't want to get killed at all. That's the ideal goal, for Act 1 at least. Act 2, it doesn't really matter. Um, Act 2, I do need to try to get the Cat Achievement. Which 
we couldn't get last time. And if I can't get it this time, it's not it's not a big deal. I'll try to get it again. But I only have five achievements left to, to get in this game. So during this run, I should be able to get four of them, hopefully. Um, but the fifth one is actually playing it on a Thursday night. So I can easily do that on my own. This is a Friday night, so yeah, you gotta do it on a Thursday night and you get an achievement. And then and then this game would be 100% as well. I would have done everything I needed to for this game. Yeah, we're getting close to the school. And it's funny because once I get there, they're all gonna teleport, like right behind me. Hopefully, hopefully I don't have to wait for these slackers. If I do, then I'm going to be upset. Okay, good. I don't have to wait. Now I'm going to skip the cutscenes. I've already seen them. <laughs> yep, no chick ever drifts like that when went into school. Yep, well... Hey, we're heading into the school. Yep, we already know the story. Let's see how fast I can actually get through the school. It'll be really interesting to see. Now, Act 2 is, is where it's at. Act 2 I really like. Okay. Mr. Piggy. We know M Mr. Piggy's here. All right. Next goal is to get upstairs and take that photo. Okay, I'm not sure if it is it this set of stairs. I think it's this set of stairs. Then we want to go over here. I don't know exactly 100% where to go, but I have the general idea. Then we have to fight this ghost here. This ghost is quite annoying. Especially if it glitches out again. Hopefully it's not going to glitch out again. Then again, this game did load up like 15 times, so... It wouldn't be surprising. Okay, here's this weird thing. Come on, ghosty. We gotta get her back, that's all we gotta do. And I, I did find out, yes, you gotta, gotta get her back, but her back is not always... Whoa, she's close. Oh, come on. Don't be killing me here, woman. Okay. Yeah, she's, she, she, she's glitching out again. Again, why can't I really snap a photo of her back? If she kills me when I'm trying to go for the no-death run, I'm going to be so upset. But she's like the, the most annoying thing here because I try to get her back. She's inside there again, isn't she? Yeah. Again, I, I can't even just like run away from her. There we go, she's gone. Okay, good. Alright, okay, don't have to deal with her anymore. Okay, so I'm pretty sure at the end of this hallway, this is where we have to take that photo. At the very, very end of the hallway. Keep going, keep going. Hey kitty cat, bye kitty cat.
Okay. There we go. We got that. Now it's time to head downstairs to get the piggy, the piggy key. Gosh, remember on the whole first stream, I played for like an hour and a half, and I couldn't even figure out that part. And now here I am, like, what is it, like 10 minutes into this, and I got it? Is this the way I want to go? I believe so. Because I want to un unlock this door. Hey. Okay. Now you want to go back to Mr. Piggy over here. We want to follow him to his room. There he is, right there. How am I able to hit him that far away? I don't know if this game is glitched or what, but we saw the glitches last time in this game. They were very strange. And it's funny because I never encountered the glitches the first time I played. It's only the the follow-up playthroughs that I noticed the strange glitches. Funny how that works. Okay, let's grab the keys. There we go. Head back upstairs. Is there a shortcut to go back upstairs, I wonder? Actually, I think there is. I think that just led over here, so... Okay. So now that we have that, we can go over here, go all the way to the end of the hall, and then we can unlock that door and fight the Scissor Phantom. That's another area that I'm a bit concerned about, but I did it perfectly last time, so I'm just going to keep that hopeful mind and just... Do it flawlessly. We're gonna get through this boss flawlessly. And really after that there's only other one one concern that I have left. Which is the other ghost. The hallway ghost. So Ryan, how far are you in this game? Have you played this game yet? You haven't I think you said you haven't played this one yet. And furthermore, if anyone here, does anyone else like any horror games? Do you find this game scary if you've watched it? I mean, obviously, this is the first time you're watching it. This isn't the best, the best way of watching it. You should watch it from from the beginning, all the parts that I have. But uh, well, I'm sure Ryan, you will beat it pretty quickly. Okay, that was the wrong door. I think it's this door. Yep, there we go. Oh, I didn't want to pick that up. I didn't want to pick up any notes, and I had to pick it up. It's about time for... It's almost scissoring time. Creepy music. Let's open this door. Can we open this door? Yep, we can. That just leads right out there. Okay, good. It is scissoring time. Alright, who's ready to get scissored? I know, that's so inappropriate. The best trick I found is to attack it, go to the other side. Attack it again, go to the other side. Why can I attack it so far away? That's crazy. Okay, that time it got me.
Don't die, Linda. You cannot die. There we go. Okay, so first threat down. So the next threat that's coming up, I am a bit concerned of because I do not because this w next one is like a timed one. The timed threat. Let's go ahead downstairs. Kitty cat. <laughs> the ghosts, yep. I think the ghosts are saying that, Ryan. Sir? Okay. So where is Mr. Piggy? Is he down this way or is he down this way? I think he might be down this way. Or not. I went the wrong way. Now I wonder what's going to happen when I fight the lady in red if a lot of these doors are locked. If I did not unlock them, am I going to have to go further away to where I need to go or or what? L lady in red I'm not too concerned about. She seems fairly easy to, to get past. Just, we just have one more enemy that's coming up that needs to be taken care of. What, now, why is, that a, why is that guy appearing on the first floor? I thought he only appeared on the second floor. Didn't he? I don't even know anymore. I'm just, I'm just so confused. I don't know if it's a glitch. I don't know if... Uh, who knows? I hear the piggy sleeping. We're almost to him. Oh, piggy! Okay, he's right over here. There he is. Hey, Mr. Piggy! You got it. Bye, Mr. Piggy. Okay, so here's the other ghost that I'm going to encounter that I am a bit concerned about. We know, we know. So once we go through all these bugs, we have to quickly find the door and just get out of here. Okay, here it is. Hey, we did it. We did it without dying. Now it's time for just the lady in red now. With her... Her groovy music. I love the music. Okay, so where are we here? Linda. Yes, we know. I'm not sure if we're upstairs or downstairs. I think we're upstairs. Oh, Lady in Red, there she is. Okay, let's try to lure her over here and try to go past her. Okay, she still got us here, but it shouldn't be too bad. As long as she doesn't kill us. Okay, first phase complete. Time for the rat phase. 
Okay, so where are we now? Oh, we're actually upstairs. Okay, where the kitty cat is. Okay, there's the lady in red again. Is she gonna kill us again? You're not gonna kill us, but... Okay, we made it through her that time. Close the door. Okay. Okay, so we have successfully completed Act 1 without dying. Which means we should get the achievement. Yep, there we go. YOLO achievement unlocked. I was expecting that one to be a bit harder than it actually was, but it actually wasn't too bad. That's actually quite impressive. So our next achievement after we complete Act 2 will be My Way or the Highway, all experience settings turned off as well as the other ending. Hopefully get, get, get the cat one along the way. Yeah, it's going to be, uh... Pretty cool. Look how quickly we went through that. Isn't that impressive? Once you know what you're doing, it's actually pretty fast. Now, Act 2 is going to take a bit longer. But Act 1, really, really fast. Get through that really, really quickly. Oh, I'm so glad I got that YOLO achievement. I was, I was a bit concerned about that, I'm not going to lie, but... We did it. And again, the, the logo there, the loading screen in the bottom right, that's the serpent eating its own tail, the Ouroboros. Eternal life, the cycle of life. Very interesting concept. Yes, we know, little guy. We know your shenanigans. We know your funky little music that plays when you come out. It's like bing bong, bing bang, bong, 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 like a little like spring or something. Come on out, little buddy. You don't want to make yourself known here. That's right. It won't show me anymore if if he's around. <laughs> Because I have all, all the experience settings turned off, so I'll just have to try to find him. It's not going to glow anymore. Okay, there's the music, so we know he's around. Where are you? There you are. That's right, kick him off, L Linda. But you already know what's going to happen, L Linda. You already know everything that's going to happen here. That's right, get off of me. Okay, so one funnel time, you grab me, take, take my phone. And then it's my favorite part of this game when... When Donnie's chasing you, I just loved that part so much. It was actually a po point in this game that I was actually quite scared. All right. All right, Steven, you head to bed. You have a nice time. Don't get too scared after watching this again. Definitely do not scare, get scared of this guy, who's going to chase us down. There he goes. I, I like the music that plays here too.
No, dude. Oh, gosh. That scared me, actually. Okay. Donnie, where are you? Hi, Sabras. Nice to see you here. Glad you made it. We're doing our final playthrough of Dread Out and getting the final ending and the, the rest of the achievements. What a fun game. What a fun and horrific scary game. I'm skipping all the cutscenes, so if you have not seen it, you gotta watch my actual playthrough of it. But I think you've, you've been here for this before. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know, but... That's right, that's right. <clears throat> and as you can see, we have a special costume that we're wearing. Whereas creepy Donnie's just trying to get us. But we're not too scared of him. Sexy indeed. Perfect thing to wear for when some creepy old friend is uh, chasing us down. But you know what's even sexier than Linda? That guy right there. That guy's like the hottest thing in, in this game. Look how hot he is. With his little pudgy body. So hot. This is your first. This is your first time seeing it, huh? Well, you can always uh, watch this uh, game. I got it on my channel. You, uh, this is like part seven, I think. So this is the final part, actually. Um, yes, yeah, actually, pretty quick to get through once you go through everything. Pretty pretty quick uh, once you know what what you're doing. Okay, we got him chasing us again. But yeah, definitely, if you want to check more of this game out, I have a playlist on my uh, channel. You can just watch them all there. Yeah, pretty much any any stream that I do, I, I record it and it's uploaded in higher quality. So you can always watch it again, even if you miss it. That's why Donnie's chasing me. That's right, Ryan. It's the outfit. I'm not a speedrunner at all. <laughs> That's why he's making all those weird sounds. He's like... He's like... Ah, ah. Okay, so this is where the game glitched out before, remember? It's not glitching out now, but it's good. <laughs> Again, if... If you've never seen, seen this game and you're seeing all this now, skipping all the cutscenes, like, well, what's happening? What's going on? And she's just like hunched over and wearing this sexy outfit as she's walking because of her, of her friend. Okay, so now, right after this, we are, we are going to get the uh, camera. And then we can do some fun stuff with the camera. <laughs> Coming home from a late night, yeah. There we go, we got the SLR. Let's zoom into these guys, these sexy hot guys. Look how sexy they are. But not only are they sexy, wait till the next guy comes up. Oh my gosh, you thought they were sexy? This next guy is like 10 times hotter. Oh yeah, look at that. So hot. Look at that slangus that he has hanging down too. That's even hotter. Well, Sabras, I'm glad I'm glad you can make it, even if it was just for a little bit. You you have fun with your friend. Okay. He 
You can't actually run on the train. Yay, we got all our stuff back. We got a ring, even though we missed Jenglot. Okay, time for like the best part of the game that we can just speed run through really quickly. This is amazing how quickly I'm getting through this. It's actually quite fun. As it turns daytime, we have women waiting for us, and I will become one of them, a sexy hot lady. So hot, so sexy. As they greet, the sexy lady greeting. Yes, welcome. The red lady sisters. Sexy hot. Flash. Flash, I just flashed you. Okay, we know what to do here. Yep, I am one of them, Ryan. I am indeed. One of those sexy hot ladies in red. See, this actually goes well with the ending that we got previously, because we remembered that it's a cycle. That's what the Ouroboros is in the logo. It means that it is reborn. The lady in red is Linda. I don't want to zoom in that much, but get the idea. Okay. Okay, we got that one. What if I do all of them before it up updates the objective? Because it only updates the objective if you approach those the ladies over there. And I'm not going to do that. Just going to admire from afar. You may want to get your hair checked out. You got some funky stuff in your in your hair there. Okay, two complete. Time for the third one. Easy peasy. Here we go. Flashed. Oh, it's so easy when you know what you're doing. And then the poor little kitty cat goes away. Oh, no, the kitty cat stays there. Okay, cool. Yeah, it'd be closer, I guess. There we go. Okay, so this boss is quite uh, time-consuming here. This is not one of my favorite bosses. This boss is also very loud. And will continue to, to be very loud in this game. So be aware of that. camera and then steer with these guys.
these two. Whoa, what the heck did he just do? Never seen that move before. Like, he, like, really went flying out there. Okay, phase two complete. One more phase. After we get rid of these guys. These guys are, are quite annoying. I do not really care to fight these guys. There's a lot of them too. I just want them to all form in, then I'll get them. There they all are. Looks like there's three of the slow guys and two of the fast guys. I was about to say, just go go for a no death run of this entire game. But I, I want to die to that kitty cat. If you remember, that's another achievement that I missed last time because she, that phantom was not throwing the, the kitty cat at me. Hit should do it. Okay, final phase. Be pretty easy. There we go. Too up, too up close and personal there, buddy. Completed. Again, extremely loud. I'm glad I have a compressor on, on the audio. Otherwise, it'd just be blasting off past peak and over, over, over blasting it. Now it's time for the lady in red. Me, that is. Oh, lady in red! Oh, I actually snapped a photo of her, wow. Snapped several photos of her. Oh, lady in red, where are you? What was that? She never does that to me. There you go. That's what she normally does. This is the time that we have to die. Oh, she looks pretty up close. Okay, a few more hits. We'll be dead. Is that, a, is that a hand? Look at that hand over there. I've never seen that before. Okay, there we go. They were died. Yep, you have to die there, so there's just no way around that one. Only a little longer. And because we haven't died at all, this is not really far. Because normally, the more you die, the further it gets. When you're in limbo. Okay, so we have, we had we have to do, um, go over to talk to our friend at this point, and then from there we'll be heading into the final area, the mansion. Now I do plan on, um, uh, we already heard the main conversation with Ira before, about, um, you know, the the main thing that's happening here. But, uh, 
Last time I also made the doll mad by calling her stupid. I'm gonna try to make the, the uh, doll mad a different way. So we're, I mean, there's three different ways to make the doll mad, and that's not talking. And then she, uh, Ira does something very, very strange. You can find vi find videos of it, but s since I'm only, since I'm not going to be making the, the doll mad three times in a row, I can't, I'm not, I can't sh show them all off. So I'll just show off the, the, the next one. I'm okay. Lynn. Sal. Bye. It's not deep. I know Ira would never hurt you. Be careful. Oh, hello, Ava. Run, run, run. That's all you like to do. This time I'm going to follow you into the house. Into the house with the mouse. Yeah, she runs faster than, than me. Okay, let me catch my breath here so I don't run out mid mid run. I want to see how clo how fast I can catch up to her. Okay, let's follow her. So now that she enters the room, let's see her go into the. Oh, she just disappears right there. She just leaves her shoes and just disappears. Why don't you have a seat? Right over there. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to insist that she's not Ira. That's what we're going to do to make the doll mad this time. It doesn't matter, we're not going to go for that yeah. ending. Are. Finally, someone to talk to. I was just heading back to my place to pick some stuff up and thought I saw you following me. So I was like, hey, that looks like Linda. Hi, Linda. Oh my gosh, we should totally play a game or something. Hide and see, tag, I spy, rock, paper, scissors. It's so boring around here, you know? Holy crap, Linda. You look like a hot mess. What the heck have you been up to? <sighs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> Same old crazy busybody Linda. <laughs> Always got to be checking on everyone, everything, all the time. Ira? Actually, should I say, who are you? I say, who are you? What kind of question is that? <laughs> I'm Ida. Ira. Ida. Friend, sweetheart? No, you are not Ida. Seriously, it's me, Ida. What is wrong with you? But hey, look. This is my friend, Susie. Say hello to Linda, Susie. Hi, Linda. You are not Ada. No way. I want to be Ada right now. No, you can't. I hate you. Fine. You want me to leave so badly. I'll leave then. Okay, so we actually saw what really happened to Linda there, why she's not... She's like, dead. Okay, again, much shorter conversation than last time. Last time we went through the full dialogue. I remember the first time that I played it, and I got, I got that, and then I was looking at my information and said, uh... She mentioned something about, uh... A mansion. I'm like, she did? I want to avoid these these ghosts. I do not want to mess with these ghosts here. Okay, good. I didn't even see him. I guess maybe because I didn't get the other set of ghosts. Okay, good. Okay, let's go check on our friend. Then we'll be heading into the mansion, the final part. Wow, this is this happened so fast. Oh, 
for Linda. Doesn't really look like she's crying, but okay. Record time, yes. The only thing that's going to slow me down is trying to get the cat lady boss coming up. They just kind of fall from the sky. Yeah, again, it looks like it's just kind of glitched out there. That it doesn't ever want to give it to you. Strange. <laughs> yeah, so, th so th what's going to slow me down is the uh, cat, that uh, phantom boss, because I want to try to get that cat achievement again, because I, I couldn't get it last time. And again, if I can't get it this time, I'll have to do it off screen, because that's really the only other achievement that's a bit difficult to get, because we're after this playthrough, we'll have all the achievements. Okay. Time to head into the final area. We know what awaits us in here. Okay. We know what happens here with this second sister. I have to say, this is one of the creepier ghosts, the second sister. Can I actually see her in the mirror? Can I zoom in all the way? No, I really can't. You really can't see her just, just yet. It, it tricks you. It makes you go through all this. But you can tell it's like, oh, something is on me. Yes, yes, we know. Here we go. Now time to... Oh, wow, I got it pretty quickly there. Now we want to head up to the, the Lady in Red's room, and then we'll be fighting the Phantom, and I'll attempt to get the cat achievement again. Hope I can get it. And that'll be my only, like, first real death of this. So it's unfortunate that I would have to die there, but... I'm hoping that I can get the cat achievement, because first time I, first time I played it, I the cat did spawn... I didn't know that it was an achievement, and I didn't get killed by it. Okay, here we go. Here's the phantom. So this one's actually going to be a bit interesting, because how am I going to tell where this phantom actually is if I don't have any of the clues on. Because normally, if uh, you look in the camera, you'll be able to tell where the actual phantom is, but the fact that I don't have it on is uh, clues. I think sometimes you might have to hit it a few times, but... This, this boss might be kind of challenging anyway because of that 
feature I have off. And the boss is definitely over there. I think it's close by, too. I got him. Got her. Him or her, I, I don't even know. Just a phantom. Now, last time, it threw, it threw mo motorcycles at me. And that was what really was strange, because that didn't happen the first time. Again, don't have a clue where this thing is because of the inability to get in any any clues. Oh, there it is. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, we heard the cat, but she didn't throw it at me. They just kind of spawned over here. Okay. Well, I think that was my one and only chance to get the kitty cat achievement. Unless she throws the kitty cats again. I may have to get, get that off screen. It's, the kitty cats are supposed to come, go flying at you. And... Okay, that's just kind of weird. Look at that. Okay, well, stop moving now, but... Yeah, the kitty cat's supposed to be... They're supposed to, she's supposed to throw the kitty cats at you. And I'm pretty sure that's like the only time that she does it. And just like the first time, she didn't throw them. They just kind of spawned from the sky, and that was it. Okay, where are you? I hear you. Okay, you were close that time. There you go. Hit it again. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this boss, primarily because you just can't see it. It's just not really fun. My favorite boss, though, would have to be... What would my favorite boss be? I don't know. I Donnie's not really a boss, but I just I just like that cha uh, chase s sequence with, with him. Okay, so the phantom is still around if I can't go upstairs yet. Just gonna keep spamming this until I can hit it. Don't know where it is. There we go, hit it again. Okay, I think that was it. Yep. Okay, so I'll have to try for the cat achievement on my own time, because you saw the cat spawn, they just spawned there. So I'm going to probably have to reattempt that many, many times in order to get that to work. So I'll do that on my own time, as well as get the achievement for playing on a Thursday night. That's probably when I'll do it. So next Thursday, I'll probably play it on my own time and uh, get the Thursday achievement and get the cat achievement and just keep spamming it retrying the boss until I can actually get it. Okay. Okay, we're approaching the end now. We're really close to the end. Okay. Let's see which one we gotta get. One of these. She's just in more and more pain each time she takes a photo and it's not the correct one. There's only a few more moves left. Oh, well, I tried them all. Interesting.
Unless it's just a waiting game. This this part's always a bit confusing. Or maybe you have to use the other... Well, I actually just died from taking a photo of the uh, pictures. I think that's the first ever time that I've died there, because I normally uh, don't do that, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll try the other camera. Because th that part's always a bit confusing to me. And then all that's left after that is to fight the... Fight the uh, second sister, and then we will not be entering the school and getting that last, that other ending. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, this has gone by pretty quickly because we don't have to fight that final boss again, um, the the lady in red. So it will be much quicker actually. Okay. Let's do. It's always one one of these photos. Unless I just have to wait, maybe. Again, I I just this part's always just a bit confusing to me. There's also these the ghosts here that that show up. Maybe you had to wait for for them as well. It's a couple that's... It's barely visible. It's like a bride and groom. They just slowly approach this window. This mirror, rather. And that's kind of when it um, shatters. In the meantime, we can take a look at these photos real quick. Don't know what that is. And these are just a bunch of trees. Okay, they're almost there. Actually, they're not. They're about halfway. It just moves so slowly. Yeah, we can get a good look at Linda here, too. Okay, they're almost right up there now. Does the glass break when they approach there, or do I have to go take a picture of over there? Okay, the guy goes to PD, I got updated. Okay, so maybe now I can do do this. No, still nothing here. And it's normally just one particular one that, that you take a photo of. And I took a photo of all of them, you saw that. Again, I'm, I'm not going to die here. I'm going to have to wait, I guess, to recharge myself. I'm going to take some photos of this. Or do I just approach it? There's no indication as to which one to take a photo of either. Is there? There's no particular one that stands out. <laughs> Ryan, you you and your jokers. Okay. Oh, come on, th th this is just ridiculous. I've not had any issue before with this. Actually, let's actually pull out the other camera. I've literally checked, like, practically all these picture frames. Can I zoom in that far and take a photo? Let's see. Oh, I can, well. Wow. Let's see, is there any indication with, with this here? No, there's not. See, this is the part that's slowing me down now. This, this stupid part that I've never had an issue with before.
Okay, let's take a moment just to get our health back. Unless maybe this is where a scent that one of the sensors comes into play, and maybe you're supposed to sense which one it is. But again, I it's never it's never been an issue before. Okay, well that finally worked that time. I think it's just maybe if you get the wrong one, it just randomly does it or something. I don't know. Maybe I was supposed to look in the mirror and figure out which one it was. I don't have a clue. All I know is that we're moving on to the final, final part here. Which means that we have to fight... Oh gosh, brought the tray way up here. We have to fight the Sega sister. Not a fan of this boss. Mostly because it's just, um... Yeah, she's just a bit annoying. But that's it. That's actually, this is, this is our, our final boss. There we go. Doors closed. It's gonna be coming out. There she is. Okay, there she is right there. All right, this camera is so sensitive. We're on the roof. Oh, there she is on the roof. I knew it. Okay. Back here. Oh, come on. Wh where are you going? Okay, right up there. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna switch the other camera. Actually, no, this camera's really not any better. Okay, there we go. <coughs> Definitely be able to get you there. This boss is mostly annoying because she goes up on the roof. Okay, got her there. The eye out. Okay, on the roof again. <coughs> wow, I actually managed to get her there. It's actually quite impressive. Okay, on this roof. <coughs> Try that another six hits, maybe? Get back here. Okay, wasn't able to get her that time. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> okay, a few more times. It becomes harder to see with each time. Oh, there you are. Got it. Oh, got her. Two more times, I think. Right here. Actually, now I think it's two more times. Okay, I couldn't get her there. Oh, come on, I was snapping. I was snapping those photos. Okay, where are you? There you are. Okay, well, it disappeared on me. Okay, you're right up here. Oh, come on. Yeah, one, one hit left. There we go. Oh, looks like I had that. So this is going to be the final hit now. There we go. Oh, 
Ah, uh, yeah, Ryan, I guess you should have taken some of nerds, shouldn't you have? But that's, that's the beauty of it. You can just try to figure it out for yourself. That's what's really good. Okay, so we're going to go up here. We're going to do our thing, and then we're going to leave the school, not enter it. And we're going to see how the ending is different. The ending will be different. That was our final boss. We don't have to fight any more boss. Which is good. As we sit here and look at ourselves in the mirror, such a strange, strange thing. But then again, if Linda is, you know, becoming the lady in red, she is part now of her. She's, she's going to be her now in, in her room and everything. There she is. I'm for her initiation. Okay. So we went into the school last time. We fought the final boss, Lady in Red. And we got two different endings depending on if we made the doll mad or if we uh, didn't make the doll mad. Okay? And we got more clarification as to what happens with the Lady in Red and Linda when we didn't make the doll mad. And it uh, um, actually told us some, some things about the Lady in Red. But we're not going to go back into the school now. We're just going to say, forget the school. Let's just, let's just leave. We don't care about the school. We don't want anything to do with the school. We just want to, we just want to go back to our car. Okay, so that was our second ending there, which leave the school, please come and uh, help, help Linda and get her in a car, and then the lady in red stops us. She essentially kills us, and we have no music for the credits. I actually didn't get that achievement that I wanted here. The my way or the highway, all experience settings turned off. I think I think I might have to skip the credits and I'll get it. Let's see if there's anything after the credits. Josh. Hello. Hi. Donnie, help me out, will ya? I'm stuck here. Anybody? Linda? Billy? Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he was trapped in the uh, in the bathroom there at the at the school. Still, I didn't get the achievement. What in the world? So I was supposed to get an achievement. My way or the highway. All experience settings turned off. I had them all off during that playthrough. 
I mean, if, if I load it back up, you'll be able to see that I have all experience settings turned off. Unless maybe I have to complete the game normally in order to do that. Which, if that's the case, I'll just do it on my own. That may be what I have to do. But here's the thing. It saves it right at the last possible save, which is right before the final boss. So we left the school before we saw that. And you saw that, oh, well, there's no ending. If you load that save back up, guess what? You're right here, so you can actually go into the school and complete it again. So, yeah, you're really not, you don't have to play through the whole game again just to get this other ending. But I had to play through it a third time anyway because of that. Yeah, so I had all the experience settings turn, on, turn off and everything. So what I'll do on my own time is I will complete this game the normal way. I will get that last achievement. For, for that, I'll play on a Thursday, play through Act 2 again, and um, try to get that cat achievement. I'll just keep retrying it until I can get it. And that pretty much is, is it. So, you know, my final thoughts for this game. I really enjoyed this game. This was a, a fantastic game. Well, I kind of did already gi give my final thoughts during my first playthrough. So, yeah, I really love this game. It was very, very short. You know, it's, uh, you saw how quickly I went through the entire game just right there. Minus Act Zero, which, I mean, you know, that's just a little d demo. Um, but Act Zero is really not important to the overall story. So, as I said, some of the puzzles were kind of hard initially. Once you know them, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So, yep, that's my final thoughts for this game. So if you're interested in checking it out, certainly feel free to buy it. Um, I will be... Um, I will be playing through Keepers of the Dark after this. So you will be able to... There is really not the end of Dreadout. I mean, next time we play, we'll be playing Keepers of the Dark, Dreadout, Keepers of the Dark. So it's pretty much a continuation right from there. I don't know anything about that game. That'll also be my first attempt. I don't know how... I don't know if there's really much any endings or stuff like that. So I may have to replay it again multiple times. But it's really not a full-length game. Um, like, like this one was, so it'll probably be much shorter. Hopefully when I load it up, it's not going to load up 15 of the same versions of them. <laughs> that was really bizarre that it did that. But, um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. This was, uh, absolutely great. We went through the game in an hour and 13 minutes. That's crazy, especially since the first ever playthrough that I did, I was stuck in the school, hour and 45 minutes, and I never even got to, like, the uh, scissor guy yet. So, yeah, you can complete the game pretty fast. If you skip all the cutscenes, skip everything, you know exactly what you're doing. I, I went through fast, so. Yep, you all take care, and thank you all for joining, and I'll catch you again likely on Monday. All right, so you have a good night. Bye-bye.